Hello and welcome back to the Scratch Coding class. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a catch game on Scratch, something like this on the screen. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Right, let's get started. Okay, so we've made dodgeball before on Scratch, and this is the opposite of dodgeball. Instead of trying to uh, avoid uh, the stuff falling, you have to instead try and catch the stuff falling. So it's very similar. So let's get started right now. So first of all, we're going to need two sprites. Okay, so first we're going to need uh, something to actually catch the stuff. I'm going to go a bowl, for the example. You don't have to do a bowl. So I'm just going to adjust the size a wee bit. And then I also want the stuff that is falling. In this case, I want the apples. And then for the backdrop, let's choose a nice uh, sky backdrop, like the example shown. Okay, so the code is very simple. It's very short. So first we're going to actually code the bowl first. So then we go uh, when green if I clicked and we will do a forever loop. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the blocks better. And then after uh, we need to get the arrow keys. So the user will press the right arrow key to move the ball right and the left arrow key to move the ball left in order to try and catch the apple. So we can go into sensing now and get the left and right arrow key blocks. And then simply we just have to do a change X by command. You can go into motion and you can find it. That would be minus 10 because it's going left and then the other one would be 10. And that's the script for the bowl complete. Okay, so I'm going to make three variables now for the apple. I'm going to do one for score, one for stage, and I'm going to do one for lives. Score is basically uh, every time the apple touches the bowl, it gets one point. Lives is basically if it touches uh, the bottom, then we lose a life and if we lose all our lives the game is over and stage is basically the difficulty of the game so we are going to first of all assign values to each of these variables lives to two we're going to do stage to one and then we are going to do score to zero and then we want uh, to determine the starting position of the sprite we want it to start at a different place each time so let's set the y first to 180 and then we want to go to a random position Right, we're going to code stage 1 now, so stage 1 is a repeat until loop, and then score is equal to 5. You don't have to do score is equal to 5. Basically, if the score equals 5, then we move on to the next stage. And then after, we can change the y by minus values. Let's change the y by, let's go minus 4. This means the sprite is going to fall down, so it's moving downwards. And then we can do an if. And then we need a less than for this. And then if less than minus 170, and this is if y position is less than minus 170. This is basically if the apple is down round about that brown line on the backdrop, then uh, we should lose a life. So we're going to change lives by minus 1. Okay, so then we got to do an if then else loop. Okay, if then else, and then lives is less than one that's basically telling us if lives is equal to zero then we should lose the game so we are going to go into control and then we are going to stop everything and then after we stop everything then if we still have one more life left then we can uh, we do the position thing again so we want to set the y to 180 and go to random position and that is basically stage one coded so what we're going to do is we're going to make a stage 2, so I'm going to change the uh, stage by 1. And then I'm going to duplicate all of this, and I'm going to put it down below, and I can take away that, because I'm not going to do a stage 3. You should be able to code it by now, so we can do change y by, let's go minus 6, so it's a bit faster. You can do slower by adjusting it, so let's go minus 2, a bit slower. Make sure you don't go positive values though, or it will go up, not down. Okay, let's change y by minus 6, and then uh, everything else can really stay the same here. So that is stage 1 and 2 complete. Right, now we've got to do something with the score, because the score is not moving right now, it's just staying at 0. So we go forever loop, and then we can do an if, if touching the ball. So you can get that in sensing, if touching ball, then uh, let's change the score by 1. And then also we need to set 
uh, the starting position again because uh, that's only if y is less than 170 so it's the only if we fail we go back up but we want to go back up every single time so go to random position and set y to of course 180 <coughs> okay that should be really finished right now so we can test this out right now so Okay, that's the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. After this one, we should be on stage two. Yes, we are. Look, it's a bit faster now. Let's say if I lose a life, okay? Down to one life, I can still play. Lose another life, the game is over. So, that is basically how to code a catch game on Scratch. Uh, you can also adapt this game because it is sort of boring right now. So, you can maybe do, let's say, a golden apple that can give you even more lives every time you catch a golden apple. We could do, let's say, more deadly apples that if you catch them, uh, you lose even more lives. Or maybe we can get boosts that if you uh, pick up the boost with the ball, then you can get maybe a, a speed multiplier. But it's already quite fast right now, so you might want to adjust the values for the ball. There's not much you can do with this game, uh, but that is going to be it for today's uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, you can always uh, ch check out the code here on my Scratch page. I always link it in the description and then you can use that same code to modify it instead of copying the code at the same time or if you just want to try the project out for yourself. So thank you so much for watching, uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next tutorial, bye.